Just, just be in my best body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so cursed. Oh, that's cursed. In case you couldn't hear over the banshee screams, that is the Hulk coaster. Uh, it's my wife's 21st birthday, so we're celebrating today by doing a few fun things. Probably gonna get her her first cocktail that she can buy legally at Universal. We're gonna take her to Confisco's, get her some food, um, and we're just gonna do a bunch we're of things. We're gonna to try. try and get a macaroon. If oh. they don't have it, they have to personally ship it to me. She wants a macaroon from the Mardi Gras. I've been craving store. it for months. Okay. She wants her macaroon, so we're going to try and get her a macaroon from the tribute store if they still have any. If not, she's, she's going to be greatly disappointed. They were nice enough to put us on the second floor where we can sit pretty quietly without much issue. So it was really nice of them. Um, we're here to celebrate my wife's birthday. She's uh, looking through the menu right now. 
She's excited. Do you know what you want to get yet? What are you gonna get? The noodle bowl. Noodle bowl, you found? I think I'm gonna do it with chicken. Chicken? Let me see. Put the udon noodle? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I have no idea what I want. I'm scared. They have the uh, wings as appetizers. I know you like your wings. Yes, that's a safe food for me. If you can't tell, I'm a picky eater and it's uh, it causes me some trouble at these restaurants. Luckily for me, she gets pretty much everything that she can find on the menu without having much issue with, other than seafood. So we, we at least get her to try things that I'm too afraid to try. <laughs> Watch that every time I turn on the camera, you gotta make some sort of check. <laughs> tell them what you got, what'd you order? I got the noodle bowl, the udon noodle bowl. I got the French onion soup and I got the raptor claw. And I'm thinking about trying a Guinness. A Guinness, yeah. Because there's this beverage in Iceland, it's called melt extract, and I really like it. But I cannot find anything like it here. And I looked it up online and I kind of sounds like the flavor of the soda that I like, and it used to be alcoholic. So in so, other words, you're basically just trying to recreate your love for the soda you used to like with beer. Dude, every Christmas, man, we used to mix it with orange soda. It was so good. So wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you drank something that 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 is that gross, and it didn't even have the benefits of alcohol? I like the flavor. I grew up with it. It's like a it's like a national drink, you know. You mix orange soda into it, and then you like drink it every Christmas. Well, okay. It's really good. It okay. pairs well with ham. Okay. Well. And you know how I like my ham. I brought a gallon-sized bag of ham on this trip. You know this. She isn't kidding. She literally has a gallon-sized bag it's of like ham in the fridge. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're trying what the raptor call for the first time. Yes. That tastes like donkey pits. What? What does it taste? Let me, let me see. It's very strong. First off. I got a seed in my mouth. I'll stir it up first. What's this called? The raptor claw. The raptor claw? What's it supposed to taste like? It's supposed to have pineapple. Pineapple? I taste no pineapple. <laughs> no. This is a... Tequila? What is it? Uh, Curacao? Curacao? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. That's certainly an interesting taste. <laughs> it's very strong though. It's not bad though. It could be a lot worse. Try yours. Should I try mine, I guess? Alright. I got the watermelon lemonade. Let's give this a shot. Stirring it up first, just to be sure. Okay. That's pretty good. It's, um... You can taste the watermelon, but there is a hint of that alcoholic flavor in there. It's not something you can taste, like just drink and not taste the alcohol in, but um, it's really good. It tastes kind of like a watered down watermelon Jolly Rancher, I would say. It's not the best flavor. It's not like gonna punch you in the face with flavor, but it's certainly got a hint of watermelon in there. So it's at least better than the other one where it doesn't taste like uh, just pure alcohol hitting it. So it's pretty good. You don't like either of them? No. You can have that. So I just finished the watermelon lemonade and I gotta say, it's actually not terrible at all. It just requires a little bit of um, 
you gotta get used to it. it it's very sour, so you, it, you, you get lemonade and you're expecting a little bit of sweetness to it, and uh, you, this was just extra sour. I think it's because they had pucker in it, and pucker is pretty sour usually, so that's that's what I'm gathering from it. But other than that, it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, she hated um, the raptor claw, so I guess I'm, I'm gonna be two drinks in on this trip, and I guess she's gonna order the uh, Guinness, so we'll, we'll see where that goes when that comes up. Soup. Is it good soup? Let me let me see. Let me see if it's good soup. Let me get some of the breading in. Cheese. That's cheesy. Almost as cheesy as Julia. Oh. Just continuing the trend of bullying Julia and her yes. videos. Her moving, moving to Poland. Her moving to Poland was basically bullying, okay? She left to be. <laughs> A little bit of string there, okay. That's all your chin. Okay, got it. Good? Good soup. Good soup. Soup. Five Adam drivers out of five. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go. It's very sweet. Sweet? Did you get that too? Yeah, I thought it was pretty sweet. But it's also kind of spicy a little bit. Though. Very little. It's not too spicy at all. But it's more sweet than spicy. It's pretty good. I give it a solid three. I liked it, but it wasn't like the best. It had a lot of chewy bits in it that I just wasn't a fan of. I didn't get that at all. Mm. Well, you're eating the flats. I don't eat flats. So maybe you just got better chicken pieces than I got? I don't know. I don't it. very light. We well, gotta get the noodles in there. Come on. Dude, I can't eat noodles with a spoon. What are you what do you think I am? I would use these, but um every time I try it I it it looks so bad. I would get like I I think you would get secondhand embarrassment so let's just not not do that. The noodles are very chewy, but good. Um, let's try the chicken. Put this chicken in there, yeah. A 
I'm gonna say something real messed up. What? This tastes like salmon. Oh. But it's but it's chicken. I know that's the weird part. Open. Yeah, I don't. Was it good though? Mm, I don't know. I wouldn't order it again. You wouldn't order it again? Probably like two because I like the noodles themselves. What out of five? Two out of five. Don't like it? Hmm. Alright. I've been thinking about how uh, we went there for my birthday and it really saddens me how horrible the food was because I've heard really good things. Like, I saw the reviews when I looked it up and I just did not have that experience. I just, I want to try it again and see if it was just an off day for them, but I, I just, I don't really want to go back. Yes. Okay. Uh, I got the sticky ribs, so I'm going to these a shot. I'm a little nervous because uh, I really like ribs, but she said she didn't like her food and she usually really likes that type of stuff, so I'm scared. So I'm gonna give it a shot. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, sweeter than I expected. But um, overall. Pretty good. How many skeletons out of five? How many what? How many skeletons out of five? Skeletons? Well, I guess it's ribs. I hate to say it, three out of five probably, at the most. I think um, I've had better ribs. I've truthfully had better ribs. What um, is that splatter under it? I don't know. I didn't read. Um, it's some sort of cheese thing. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put it in the annotation or I'll put like a text over so you guys know what it is but it's a it's a thing you want me to try it or something get a little carrot in there <laughs> she is okay. forcing me to try things <laughs> and i usually eat a strict diet of chicken tenders <laughs> and, and peanut butter so this is all oh, that scary texture oh my god dude. these are scary textures you're making me do this for sure yeah It's grits. It tastes like grits. That's some good crunchy cooking right there. Why it's here, I don't know. But it tastes like grits. I don't know if it is. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. That's that grits. Straight up grits. That is. Country boy taste, taste confirmed. This tastes like I'm, I'm out of Cracker Barrel right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's grits. It's gritty. It tastes like grits. Basically, grits. That. Four out of five. God. <laughs> I like that. Okay, then. What if that was your entire meal? If that was my entire meal, I would cry. Out of happiness or? No, because uh, that would not be a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe, maybe mixed together. Just put it like Dude. that. He's doing some weird, weird stuff. It's good. It's good. good. Your Guinness is here. Here to try your first sip of Guinness. Oh my god, that smells kind of like the drink. It smells like your your malt drink that you were talking about. Yes, but like alcohol, you know, because it, it's alcohol. Give it a shot. Is it? Really bitter, yeah. Is it good though? Um. Is it, it what kinda, you expected? It kind of tastes like if you took a piece of charcoal and you just, you know, but like in a good way. So it's good. Out of five. Two Irishmen out of five. <laughs> is Guinness even Irish? I don't, I don't even know what they are. 
Dublin. Dublin? Oh, Dublin. Okay. I got it right. Okay. I know my places. You know places. Wow. All right, there we go. I'm celebrating my birthday. No, never mind. I, I... I need water. Obviously, the ideal place to record. <laughs> <laughs> 